This season on NBA Kicks, we talked about over 150 different sneakers. And in this video, we're gonna narrow it down to just the 10 best shoes worn in the NBA all season long. My only criteria to make this list is that the shoe has to be exclusive to the 2021-22 season. So if we've seen a shoe before in seasons past, it cannot qualify to make this list. And I also try not to think too hard about this, guys. I just looked at all the sneakers that we talked about from the season, and I tried to pick the 10 sneakers that I felt were the best for a variety of reasons, whatever they may be. And I think I came up with a pretty solid list. But remember guys, we will have an NBA Finals exclusive episode once the finals wrap up. So we're gonna talk about the best sneakers from this finals. But before we do that, let's take a look back at the 10 best sneakers from this season. Starting off the list at number 10, we have Justin Holiday with the Leaning Speed 8. So this shoe was interesting for a lot of different reasons. First off, why Tigger? Is that Justin Holiday's favorite character or something? And if so, does Justin Holiday really have that kind of power over at Leaning to request an exclusive colorway like this? I doubt it. So why is a Chinese base brand like Leaning dropping a Winnie the Pooh inspired colorway when Winnie the Pooh is banned in China. That's true, you can look that up. Whatever the reason, all that really matters here is that this is a near flawless execution of what a Tigger sneaker should look like. You got multiple shades of orange, a tiger stripe Li Ning logo, which is just super creative. And of course, you got a Tigger logo on the tongue, just in case you forgot who these are inspired by. My only criticism of this colorway would be the huge Tigger wording on the medial side. It just seems really out of place and the whole colorway would look a lot cleaner without it. But all in all, Tigger is just one of my favorite characters of all time. Yes, this is Lil Jerome Mon at Disneyland. Super psyched to take a photo with Tigger. So you guys already know that these were gonna make the list. Next up at number nine, we have Donovan Mitchell with the Don issue number three. Donovan Mitchell was one of the more prolific guys in the league when it came to his kicks on the court as Adidas gave him an abundance of new colorways of his third signature model. And I almost gave his Bel Air inspired colorway the spot here. Instead, I decided to give his Lego colorway the nod with its vibrant primary color scheme as well as its custom Donovan Mitchell Lego head graphic on the heel, which is just absolutely insane. I mean, come on guys, Lego is one of the biggest companies in the world and Donovan Mitchell got his own custom Lego character on his own signature sneaker from Adidas, which is also one of the biggest companies in the world. Spider might not be in the playoffs, but he is still winning. Next up at number eight, we have Bam Adebayo with the Air Jordan 36 low. Jordan Brand had a strong season this year. Jason Tatum had a ton of awesome PE, such as the no avocados. Luka Doncic got his own signature sneaker. My favorite out of all the Jordan Brand sneakers this season has got to be these Bam Bam PEs. These were made for Bam Adebayo, obviously, but overall, this colorway just does a lot of things right. Everything from the color scheme with the orange, green, and white palette to the graphic and logo work on the upper and tongue, Jordan Brand absolutely nailed it with these as a Bam Bam themed sneaker could definitely be done with a lot less finesse than what you see here. Simply put, this PE just has a perfect synergy between player nickname and player exclusive colorway, which is exactly why I got them on the list, because usually these types of colorways are strictly customs, but the fact that these are an official PE just makes them all the more special. Coming in at number seven, we have DeJounte Murray with the two-way V2 from New Balance. All right, look, I'll be the first one to admit it. This is a pure nostalgia pick, but if you have a problem with me putting a New Balance sneaker on the top 10 of the year list, 
All that really tells me is that you've never played in a New Balance basketball sneaker. This colorway of the two-way V2 was made for DeJounte Murray of the San Antonio Spurs and obviously uses the retro Fiesta color scheme to absolute perfection. Anytime you can make something in a Fiesta themed colorway, that is an automatic W already. But on this silhouette, which already sports a nostalgic look, the white, teal, pink, and yellow color scheme is just a perfect marriage. Pair these with a Spurs City Edition uniform and you got yourself an on-court fit that is hard to rival. And in an age where the sneakers don't necessarily match the players' uniforms anymore, this sneaker's complimentary look with the uniforms that they're inspired by is a welcome thought. But for real, guys, I know it's New Balance. You might be scared because that's what your dad and your grandpa wears. Their basketball sneakers are legit. Next up at number six, we have Montrez Harrell with the Trez One. All right, so here we have a sneaker that is making the list just based on pure shock and surprise. Now, as we all know, Montrez is one of the more prolific sneakerheads in the league, and he is a staple here on NBA Kicks. But if you were to tell me at the beginning of the season that Montrez was going to make his signature sneaker debut, I just would have been confused. But here we are with the Trez One, which is a self-owned signature sneaker made in collaboration with Sia Collective, a luxury streetwear brand. The Trez One uses a variety of luxury materials as well as a zipper stroud over the laces, which creates a unique look that definitely represents Montrez's expressive personality. But as far as performance as a basketball shoe, I really can't vouch for these, as Trez himself rarely played in them like he told us he wanted during the design process, but still technically he did wear them on the court. And he even gave us one of the best Freddy Krueger colorways of all time. So that on top of the sheer surprise of a Montrez signature sneaker debut, that's gotta be good enough to crack the list. Next up at number five, we have Tyrese Halliburton with a custom Kyrie Low 4. Now, if you were to tell me at the beginning of the season that the Sacramento Kings were going to trade Tyrese Halliburton, I honestly think I would be more confused than the Montrez signature sneaker thing. But look, this is sneaker talk, not NBA talk. And before the Kings traded away Halliburton, Tyrese rocked a custom pair of Kyrie Low 4s, which features some absolutely incredible portrait work. How Andre Lewis was able to get this quality of artwork on such a small and unusual canvas, such as a sneaker, really does blow my mind. I mean, just looking at these, you have absolutely no doubt that that is Macaulay Culkin, Joe Pesci, and Daniel Stern as their characters from the movie Home Alone. I mean, seriously guys, just take a close look at that newspaper. How did Andre get all of those straight lines. I mean, look at the text on it. It looks like it was typed. I really don't know how he did it. It is absolutely incredible, flawless work by Andre here, who for my money has got to be near the top, if not the top of the list, when you're talking about customizers in the shoe game. Coming in at number four, we have Jay Sean Tate with a custom pair of Soldier 11s. Okay, so throughout the years, we have seen a lot of Halloween exclusive sneakers, but these, these might just be the best Halloween sneaker of all time. During his game against the Lakers on Halloween, Jayshon Tate tips his hat to the holy trinity of horror movie villains with a custom pair of Soldier 11s featuring Jason, Michael Myers, and Jack from The Shining. On top of all of that, you got some hot pink hits on the outsole and inner lining, which adds some nice color. And even though the artwork on this custom might not be as precise as Tyrese's pair, I think it actually fits the theme well as it gives me some serious 80s movie poster vibes. Now, I'm not a horror movie guy at all. I actually really don't like watching horror movies, but even I can appreciate these. And if you haven't noticed already, if you take a close look at the straps, all that artwork had to be absolutely precise because the straps go over the upper, they're separate parts, and all of that artwork had to line up. 
I mean, seriously, think about that. Imagine trying to paint something on two different canvases that overlap with each other. I mean, that's like playing 4D chess. Next up at number three, we have Draymond Green with the Converse All-Star BB Shift. All right, so this might just be the controversial pick of the list because A, it's a Converse sneaker, which means that there's no hype. And B, it's worn by Draymond, who isn't a huge figure in the on-court sneaker community. And C, it is a very loud and unique colorway. But even with all those odds working against it, I simply just love this colorway. When I think about all the shoes that I talked about this season, these Converse's, no doubt, are one of the first things that pop into my mind. The super psychedelic black and white pattern on the upper is just really trippy to look at. And personally, I think fit extremely well on this silhouette's overall shape. And then you have some small splashes of color on the heel tab as well as the branding. I mean, close up from a distance, this pair definitely stands out on the court. And again, it's just one of the standout sneakers of the season. So I'd be remiss if I didn't add them on the list. But let me know what you guys think. Is this a top 10 sneaker of the season or am I just tripping? Coming in as our runner up, we have Ja Morant with the Kobe 6. Ja Morant wore a ton of sixes this season from new colorways to custom colorways to even fake colorways. Ja clearly is a fan of the silhouette, which was by far the most popular sneaker across the entire league all season long. And that's a huge reason why I got them ranked so high on this year's list. But when it came down to picking the best pair, the best colorway of sixes, I just went with my gut and chose a clean player exclusive. This colorway uses a black and gold upper alongside a white swoosh, white midsole, as well as a teal outsole for a very Jacksonville Jaguar style color scheme. But overall, this is just an extremely clean look that feels like it could have been an original release. And yes, look, I totally understand that Jaws' variety of customs were maybe more special, maybe a little bit more flavorful, if you will. But if John ja Morant were to come up to me and ask me, I'll give you one pair of Kobe 6s, which pair do you want? I'm probably going with these. It's the cleanest out of everything he wore. You could wear them on the court, you could wear them off the court. It's not tied to one particular person or player so anyone could wear them. And again, the Kobe 6 was the most worn sneaker in the NBA all season long, so I had to put them on the list. But to me, they weren't quite the signature sneaker of the season. We'll talk more about that on the next spot. But for now, let's just salute the Kobe 6. It's one of the greatest, most iconic sneakers of all time. And they land at number two on this year's list. Finally, at number one, we have LaMelo Ball with the Puma MB01. All right, so stay with me, guys. The reason why I decided to put LaMelo Ball's first signature sneaker at the number one spot and officially crowned them as the signature sneaker of the season is because I truly feel that five, 10 years from now, when I look back at this season as a sneakerhead, I'm gonna remember this season as the season that LaMelo sneaker came out. Puma just recently made its return to the basketball scene just a few seasons ago, but this year LaMelo took Puma to a whole other level with a variety of releases, with the most notable being the Rick and Morty release, which not only had commercial success, but also success on the secondhand market, which for better or worse is a huge deal in the sneaker community today when you're measuring the hype of a sneaker. Honest to God, I've never seen more Puma basketball sneakers on basketball floors than I have this season. I mean, every gym that I go to, any court, somebody's rocking Puma, particularly LaMelo's first signature sneaker. And even though I think the LaMelo's aren't a perfect sneaker, I have some problems with them visually, the performance on them is good. They're not great, but especially for that $120 price point, these are a really solid buy, and I think that really adds to how popular this silhouette has become. So look, at the end of the day, I just feel that the MB01 is and was the signature sneaker of the season. And if I had to pick one colorway 
I'm obviously going to go ahead and pick those Rick and Mortys. Those just had the most hype. So I guess there's nothing else left to do here, but officially crown the MB01 as the best sneaker award in the NBA during the 2021-22 season. Let me know what you guys thought about my list, what you would rank higher, lower, what you would not have at all. If I missed anything, drop all that in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that NBA Finals episode. My name's Darren Isberget Avenue. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.